This is a pen I recently made in my workshop. It's a rather large pen if you compare it to a normal fountain pen. And the interesting thing about this pen is its Bock Titan Nib. This is the Bock Titan Nib. Uh, you can, by now, you can get this pen with you can buy book you can you can get this this part the, the whole front part of, of a pen and the nib itself is attached to the front piece to this section in this way this is the larger one this is the six millimeter section they also make a smaller one this is another pen i made in my workshop this this uses a steel nib and the smaller uh, uh, section of of the bog nib this one is the five millimeter. This one I will turn out of this section. As you can see, inside this part of the pen sits the ink, the ink, the ink feed, which goes into this part. And on this pen, I will demonstrate what's inside. I, I won't do this on, on this pen because maybe I'm going to sell this one. This is one I use by myself. This, this is the 5mm ink feed with the smallest steel nib but the as you can see if 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 this part is inside the pen you can remove this part you put the nib in place and then you move it back into the pen this is this is why they call this the triple because it consists of the nib the feed and this part which goes in to the section as far as i know this section was designed by norbert Zeppelin and I got these other parts to make the pen I got from Norbert Zeppelin too and this is the this is the whole pen and now let's see I hope it is probably ink how how this titanium nib works you can see it's quite flexible they they make their titanium nibs more flexible than their steel nibs if you compare this to the steel nib this is without pressure this is with pressure it 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 is an unfle oh it, this is an unflexible nib but this this 
this uh, titanium nib is pretty flexible and it's a nice writing feeling but it d does not too much depend on the material which the pen is made of some of the, the, the most flexible nibs like this one are made of steel and if you compare this to a titanium or gold nib it's much more flexible this is without pressure and now we apply a little bit pressure and this is a this is a browser nib which costs about 50 cents or something like this and it writes fantastic as you can see this is without pressure and how the pen widens but the main theme was the titanium nib let's see if and the ink feed is a little bit difficult because I have to put this in front of the camera lens but I will show this again from a shorter distance this is the you can buy from oh, a little bit too much ink this is the nib and the ink feed and the section front section of the pen with this end part which goes into the pen you make okay this is the Bock titanium nib and wait a second I will pull this out once again no to take a look take a look at the way the, the ink feed is constructed this is the number five the five millimeter ink feed. This is the smallest this is the smallest steel nib. I hope you can see this there. Okay, but this nib, this steel nib, isn't flexible. Okay, let's put that together, these parts back in to this pan again. Oh. By the way, this is this part is this part of the pen is from Drexelstube in Germany. Okay, so far on the Bock nibs. <laughs>